why the average millionaire mind is a wealth hoax. Fake news is prevalent nowadays. And you know what else is fake? It's the thing they call the average millionaire mind. Though it may sound harsh, the magical phrase reveals one of many millionaire mind secrets. If you want to make it big financially, there is no place for mediocrity or compromise. You only have two options, whether you work hard or head straight to your home and succumb to the thought that wealth isn't your thing. Now, why is an average millionaire mind a hoax? That's what we're going to reveal in this video. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to this channel first so you'll see more from us. Now, most individuals recognize the underlying truth of go hard or go home. After all, everything important requires giving it your all or you don't do it at all. You might be thinking, I like to play basketball sometimes, but I'm not very good. What about that? While it is not required to succeed at hobbies such as basketball, the idea of giving your entire best applies to everything else. Even if you're not particularly good at basketball, you're probably enjoying yourself. You play because you like it, not because you have to. Now, consider the distinction between doing what you do for enjoyment and doing what you do for a living. Basketball is enjoyable, but it requires a different use of time and dedication as compared to working for your financial independence or enhancing your life. It's good to have average basketball skills. It is, however, not good and impossible to have an average millionaire mind or to be an average millionaire. Either you are a millionaire or you are still dreaming to become one. You either have a millionaire mentality or you don't. And to be honest, there are more millions of hoax millionaires out there who have an average millionaire mind than actual millionaires. You cannot just okay yourself into prosperity and riches. Either you master wealth or you don't. Now, here's the counterpart of the average millionaire mind. It's the warrior's millionaire mind. And if you want to achieve big financially, you must train your mind to think like a warrior. From the point of view of a real warrior, mastery is a life or death decision. Mastery is more of a passion, dedication, and commitment than of a skill. You make the decision to take your life to the next level and do whatever it takes. Because they are still in the minor leagues, most individuals are living much below their potential. This is in contrast to major leaguers, who make fortunes regardless of profession or industry since they don't fear themselves. Furthermore, they are fearless of the responsibility, the effort that must be done, and the essential modifications for success. They believe and indeed embrace the notion that they must play big in order to win big. Now, here's the question. Is it more difficult to play in the majors than in the minors? No, not at all. It certainly needs more practice, but frequently, tiny alterations to how your skills are utilized and how you think are all that is required to produce such enormous improvements. So you may be thinking, how do I master things? The answer is quite simple. You just have to do it differently. Your standards will have to adjust. Replace the idea, this is okay, with I can do much better. Then look for extra reasons to keep refining and deepening your mastery. Can you become a master of all trades? No, you don't have to. You must instead prioritize, choose, concentrate on, and commit to the things you actually want for yourself. Whatever you decide, make a commitment to either mastering it or engaging in it at all. Remember, you will not master it unless you are ready to see your potential and hold yourself accountable for following through. What you settle for is always what you receive. In fact, being a master is not the most difficult aspect. The difficult part 
is deciding to become a master in the first place, as well as staying committed once you've made a decision. Many people reach a moment in their lives when they question what they've been taught and realize they have a lot more to learn before they know anything. If you want to live a better life or increase your company's success, if little rewards and small gains no longer satisfy your financial appetite, if you have a solution to a problem and know that trading with it will help the world as much as you would, if you understand that mediocrity will keep you poor, if you'd rather spend your time rising up to pro status than hiding in the shadows under fear and uncertainty, then when will be the best moment for you to invest in your mastery? Now is the perfect time and opportunity to master anything you want in life. Mastering one area of your life will eventually better every other area. You know what they say, how you do anything is how you do everything. Thus, change your thinking. Also, you must remember that the millionaire mind is not half measured. So shouldn't you? So change your mindset, possess the mind of a warrior, and let your millionaire mind take you to the major leagues. If you stayed with us until this part of the video, I can say that you are serious about making a shift in your life and that you are awesome. So before we end this video, please give this video a like and you can also share your thoughts about having an average millionaire mind in the comment section below. And that concludes our video. Hope you enjoy this one. So see you again in our next videos. Bye.